we always think about things that we focus on so if 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 there's an old belief that we haven't examined uh, it will still it will still keep on you know externalizing in some areas of our life until we do recognize it and then cha change it accordingly this is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 10 16 p.m. on the 23 April 2018 documenting step number 45 out of the book Steps to Knowledge channeled by Marshall Vian Summers. I don't know where to put the book, doesn't matter. So step number 45 um, it's called alone I can do nothing alone I can do nothing it's a two 15 minutes practice periods and it was done on the 21st and 22 these two past days and uh, it's interesting as always I write one of our limitation is to mostly perceive the physical universe Yet, this we do to ourselves by choice, so that we can easier come to realize that we materialize our beliefs into the circumstances of our daily life and, and into the creation of our physical body. That's really deep as well. Um, why do I believe that? Is it also a belief? Is it something I understand? I I would say both of those things. Um, but yeah, I mean, we are to become conscious co-creators of reality. But first, as individuals seemingly separated for the whole vast existence, um, we must first understand that our thoughts, our beliefs, I mean our mental attitude is indeed what creates our world is, and is not the other way around. But in order to do this, we have actually to um, limit our, uh, our, our, our experience in a certain sense to be bound to this physical structure where we perceive those beliefs in a time, timely fashion one after the other so that we can uh, examine those circumstances and then examine our thoughts and if we do that we can then um, easily perceive that indeed our thoughts do create a reality our circumstances and our physical cells as well, be it a good working, uh, healthy physical body or be it a, a sick one. It's, it's all in accordance or so I believe or so I know. It doesn't matter to you. It matters what you believe and know. So let's keep on. One of the most limiting beliefs that we entertain, that we can entertain, is to believe ourselves at the mercy of circumstances, therefore powerless against them, not knowing that indeed we are the molders and makers of those very circumstances by our thoughts, ideas, emotions, imagination, and attitude. As, as I just said in the earlier, step we we only have to examine ourselves examine our beliefs uh be it conscious or unconscious but i mean they're always conscious although we do tend to put some of those beliefs into some dark corners of our mind where we can easily easily pass go past them and not recognize that they are there that's why we must examine them because we always think about things that we focus on so if 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 there's an old belief that we haven't examined uh, it will still it will still keep on 
you know, externalizing in some areas of our life until we do recognize it and then cha change it accordingly. Change the, um, not just cut the root of the problem, if it is indeed a problem uh, for us. But uh, yeah, uh, I mean, and what does this have to do with the fact that alone I can do nothing? That's the title of the, of the step. But uh, I mean, the description talks about, um, you know, the practice itself. It's about our limitation and to see them clearly. And that's what I was trying to portray there. Some of my limitations, past limitation and general limitation of our species as a whole. Uh, but um, yeah. Alone I can do nothing, to me that means that we perceive ourselves as alone and we, because we mostly don't understand that uh, there is a, a spiritual world, an invisible realm from which all things are created and that's mostly the mental realm where, where we dwell mentally, that's what creates the consequence which is the physical world but the mental world that's the causation and the physical one is the um, how do you call it the what happens after the causation i guess yeah but yeah two 15 minutes practice period that's all i write for it i think it's it's not that much, but I think it's precise and to the point. So, um, yeah, those are some of my thoughts regarding this step. And uh, I think that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's my review for step number 45. As, well, as always, it's, it's a choice, baby. Watch, don't watch do do not do always a choice even if we if we do it consciously or unconsciously but yeah this has been Cyprian G documenting set number 45 thank you so much for watching I appreciate that and I'm out baby bam